Mark Zona with you from Zona's Awesome Fishing Show. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about something near and dear to the heart right there, the Widowmaker, exactly right. Um, I have done a lot of umbrella rigging all the way from really where it kind of all started down at Gunnersville. I've taped down there, but one of the things um, that I've really found the last probably 10 years is how powerful this is on smallmouth bass. If you look at this rig, the great thing about it is basically if you look at this uh, you have titanium wires that flex so whenever you catch a fish all you got to do is really shake it and it comes right back into place that is a striking umbrella rig and here's the deal I have 3.75 rage swimmers on here 3 16 ounce heads um, I just think it makes it look natural the other thing is I'm gonna go through my setup real quick um, 20 pound Seaguar Abrazex to a Luz Mark Rose Signature Series. I use a 7.6 medium heavy. A lot of people think that when you chuck this thing out there, you want a real heavy action flipping stick. I actually want uh, kind of a soft tip. And I know this is gonna sound nuts, okay? When they eat this thing, they want, it, it, it is so comparable to a saltwater bite, okay? And generally, when you catch them on an umbrella rig, when you catch them on a rig, smallmouth that is, they will try to rip the rod out of your hand, but they'll have friends with him. And if you don't hammer him as hard as you can, I can't tell you how many times that I've caught two, three, all the way up to four bass on one cast, okay? The main difference between the way I rig it with an open hook for smallmouth, look, we're in open water, sand, rock, very little grass, Compared to if I'm down at Gunnersville, I'm going to use more of a weedless style, you know, a, a traditional weighted swim bait hook. Uh, the other thing about this for smallmouth bass, a lot of people think of an umbrella rig as a really deep water, cold water technique. There is nothing better. The, the flat that we're sitting on, I'm with, with my, my friend Pete Robbins, the flat we're sitting on, I actually taped a show on this point throwing it out just like a spinner bait, burning it as fast as you can and seeing giant 22 inch smallmouth hit that thing. So the one thing I'll tell you is if you ever come up north, don't limit yourself to fishing out deep with an umbrella rig. Don't be scared to get really shallow and burn it. Striking umbrella rig home wrecker. Are you a tip junkie? Are you? I am. Do me a favor for more tips. Go to Half Past First Cast for piles and piles of delicious info. In fact, you know what? Let me show you something. Look in this live well. Come in this live well. You want to learn how to catch those things right there? Ooh, look at that mambo right there. How you doing, boy? Half Past First Cast.